Good afternoon and welcome back to my freezing workbench where I've got some stuff to play around with um, particularly this uh, LED bulb here which I purchased earlier and I wish to exchange the base on it just like Big Clive did with his one. Um, I also bought these same uh, bulbs, the candle LED bulb things that he got. Um, here's one of them there. Bandit cap base B22 and the idea is you can take this off and put it on here. Well, at least that's what I'm hoping to do. That's what he did. Um, so it should work. Um, these are quite easy to get off. This is plastic. Um, this one had very weak glue. I was just able to basically just snap it and it came straight off. Um, which lets me do that. And you can unscrew the bottom here and get access to the circuitry. And I can remove the circuitry, obviously I'll have to use the circuitry that's in this. So it's uh, different, different voltage probably and all that. Um, but yeah, so I can use this base hopefully. And I have another couple of these here. So, um, you know, I thought I'd get a couple. They were very cheap. Um, some more of them. One of them, this one, I think I couldn't. It was very hard to get the get the bulb plastic off, so, you know. Fortunately I had another one, which was easier to get off. Anyway, these uh, might be useful for something else. But at the moment I'm just going to use one of them. So, you can put those out of the way. Anyway, so we're just looking at that one here. And, I don't need that. So, I got this one. Now, he claimed to uh, remove the space here with um, with heat. Um, he reckoned that it was attached with hot glue or some sort of, well, not hot glue, but some kind of heat sensitive glue. Um, he claimed that heating it up and removing the base was possible. He didn't, however, actually show any video of that, so um, I'm not sure, but I'm going to assume that if it had gone differently, um, he would have said something about it. So that's basically what I'm going to try and do. I'm just going to take my hot air station here, um, heat it up and try and twist it off. Because um, obviously you have to be quite careful with this. This is this is a glass bulb unlike this, which is plastic. I don't really want to break this. <laughs> um, if that doesn't work, I might just have to cut the, cut the metal um, off somehow and sort of peel it off. Um, I've seen him do that before, but Otherwise, um, hopefully I can do it with hot air, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so I've got no idea um, how hot to heat this or for how long, but I'm just going to try some stuff and see what happens. Let's put it on to maximum, I guess. It's about 450 degrees. <laughs> Should be hot enough. <laughs> I suppose, anyway. So, um... Yeah, that... Heat it up. I really don't know what to expect. If I sit this here and turn it around slowly. I don't know if you can see this. Ah, look at that. Worked perfectly. A little bit hot, but what do you expect? <laughs> Turn that back down. Put it out of the way. Right, so... We've got a... Uh, what have we got here? We've got a little plastic sort of 
stopper thing. Um, we've got the base. We've got the uh, got the circuitry attached on the inside there. Um, I think I'll have to desolder that on the end. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now let's remove the circuit board from the base of the lamp. Um, it's soldered in with a, uh, a wire on the side here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, I'll put a photo in close up. And of course there'll be a wire soldered to the base of this uh, pin here. Base of the base. I mean, the, yeah, I don't know. This bit on the end, I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> um, desolder both of those and I should be able to pull it out. So, let's do that then. Ooh, that glue smells nasty when it burns. It smells like rotting fish or something. Ugh. Don't put your soldering iron on the glue. It's pretty bad. Maybe it's made out of recycled fish. Alright. Um. Now. See if we can pull this out at all. Hmm. That's a bit tight. I don't want to break it because obviously I need to use this circuit to power these LEDs once I get it into the other uh, housing. But, um. Not entirely sure how they've done it. Um. Whether the uh, wire will be very short or long enough to pull it out first and then desolder it, or if I'll have to desolder it first and then pull it out. Hmm. Um, again, this is something Big Clive didn't show on his video, so I'm not entirely sure uh, what he did. Um, maybe I can lever it out with a screwdriver. I'll just try that. Alright. Well, that seems to work. If you grab a little screwdriver and put it around the edges, just be careful you uh, keep it very close to the edge. Um, obviously there's components on this board you don't want to break. Um, especially like, for example, the transformer that's uh, right here, where, it, where the uh, model, model number is, G-Y-M-R-Y. Um, make sure you don't crack the transformer core or something silly like that. That wouldn't be good. Um, yeah, I think I have to desolder it at this point. Now, the question is... Okay. Let's not have a big drop of molten solder go everywhere. Um, Let's see, if I get my screwdriver under here at the same time as I heat this up. So 
Does that work? No. It doesn't seem to make any difference. So maybe it's just the glue and the tape holding it in. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Well, that is a pretty short wire then, isn't it? Yeah, pretty short wire. So it looks like you do have to desolder this end part first. Um, you could probably use solder wick, actually. Or just um, heat it and flick it off on your bench or something. Um, but yeah, no, I understand why he didn't bother showing that footage, but there you go. If you uh, if anyone wants to do that themselves, um, you kind of get a better idea of how to take this out of there, hopefully. Um, yeah, so anyway, and there's a spare um, Edison screw thing I could use for nothing, because I don't have a socket to put it in. Oh well. <laughs> anyway. Um, right. So, let's get the tape off this, and I'll just verify there's no damage to it or anything. That all looks good to me. But um, yes, obviously there are a couple of surface mount components, especially this... Uh, no, I'll get a bit of photo for that, but... Um, yeah, there's there's a little, um, little surface mount capacitor, ceramic capacitor right there next to the transformer. There's the transformer there, obviously. There's... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, yeah, those are the sort of things you're likely to squash if you're leaving it out. So just... Just be careful. Try to stay away from that transformer area and, and possible trying to lever it maybe from this side if you're doing that um, anyway whoops it came off but doesn't matter great okay so now let's go about putting it in putting it inside this one all right well it looks like you have to uh, actually desolder these wires anyway um, so no worries that it fell off because um, I need to get this plastic I need to get this plastic bit off to um, get this all into the other thing anyway, so... There we go! Okay, so obviously you'll have to uh, disassemble this as well. Now, like I said, um, these seem to just snap off quite easily, on some of them anyway. If not, I guess you can probably uh, heat them up with a hot air gun or something like that to get the top off anyway. Or you could just cut it off or snap it off. It's plastic and, I mean, you know, once you take this off you're not going to use the rest of it anyway, I guess. So, unless you want spare parts or something. Um, or you could maybe stick this in here and uh, have a fake light bulb that doesn't do anything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Um, so the next step is to take this off. Um, I think you can just pry the bases of this out. Pry the pins out of this base, sorry. I don't know what I said. Um, and apparently... That will uh, then let go of the uh, wires, supposedly. And it does seem to do that. So these are just little sort of spiky things that stick into some soft plastic basically and um, uh, the wires seem to um, just sort of get squashed against them between the plastic and the metal so pretty simple sort of push pin thing
Not very good, I suppose, really. I could have actually soldered them on, but I suppose it's uh, cheap and seems to work. Anyway, so obviously you need to keep these things. And, oops, just um, unscrew this. So then this bottom half unscrews from the top half. You get the uh, circuit board with the wires that I've just disconnected by taking the pins out. And I'll use these wires uh, onto this board because they're longer and they look a bit better. And we got the circuit board for this lamp, but obviously we're not going to use that. So, now I think... I think this thing fits in here, so yeah, if I just take all this board and electronics out of this holder, um, I should be able to put all this just straight in. I think that's what he did, so that looks like it's glued in there pretty well, so I might have to heat it up again. Um, Unless I can just lever it out as well, but... No, that's quite tight. Alright, let's get the hot air. I would say. How to put pressure on this so I don't end up completely destroying it. It would be nice to not destroy it, and then I could use it for something else, possibly. Um. This is an aluminium PCB, so it might soak up quite a bit of heat before the glue lets go. Also, I've probably got the heat too low, so let's keep going. Well, it's smelling quite bad at this point, but the glue is not coming off. Maybe I could try poking it from the back side. Um, oh, that's pretty hot. Um, ah, there we go. That worked. This bit's actually metal. Alright, so there we go. Um, that's come off there. Um, 
Now I just need to pinch the wires off the circuit board. good. Okay, this is where things get a little different to the way he did it. Um, I'm going to mount the, um, well, what did he do? He had this uh, little white plastic thing, I think, mounted on top of this ring, um, with uh, a little socket on there so he could change out the LEDs to whichever colour he wanted, which is fair enough, but I think I'll just go for uh, these at the moment, and I won't bother with this. I'll just wire this straight in here and leave the top open so that more heat can get out and the uh, circuit board will hopefully live longer. Um, <laughs> well, circuit board's fine, I'm sure, but the uh, capacitors, the IC, all that sort of stuff, um, you want to keep them as cool as possible, so um, yeah, I'm just going to leave the top open and hopefully that'll help. So, I've got these wires, which I took off the other one. I'm just going to solder these on to this, around this way, instead of that way, as they were on the previous thing. And then I can stick this in the hole. So I'm just going to do that. So that should be fairly easy. Um, just going to heat them up and push them through. like that. And here's the other one. Right, now the black one's not actually soldered on correctly. I mean, not at all on the other side, so I'll have to uh, do that. Do that manually. And of course the pins are marked live and neutral, but since it's a um a lamp it can go in either way, and it doesn't really matter. At least I hope it doesn't matter. Obviously with an Edison screw one it's um only can go in one way, but with a bayonet cap they can go in either way. Uh, although it's got a bridge rectifier and everything, um, I don't think it matters which way around it goes. And um, old Clive didn't seem to have a problem with it, so should work all right for me. That seems alright, I think. Yeah. I might take this capacitor out. The uh, white wire has gone through, it's quite long, and I can't trim it off because of how close it is to this. Um, output capacitor, which uh, we don't really want to have a live mains voltage live wire on the side of a output capacitor on the secondary side, <laughs> just in case, you never know. Hot solder could have melted through the sleeve and then, you know, the case of the capacitor is then attached to 240 volts AC. Things could go bang in short order, so I'll uh, have to do something about that.
I just heat up both the legs, pull it out. Maybe these end cutters will work better. No, they don't fit. It looks a bit horrible, but it should work. Now I just need to get the capacitor back in. Let's see if I can just cheat and do it this way. Yep. That seems to have worked all right. Okay. So now I have to put the circuit board in here. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of. Um, Captain tape on the bottom of it just to make sure it doesn't touch uh, this metal housing. Not that it would actually be an issue because this is connected to nothing in the socket. Um, but I don't want anything shorting out, possibly to you know there are some solder joints very near the edge of this this board, and um, if both of them touch the side of this at once, it could be a problem. So make sure we uh, put some kind of tape on it. Um, I don't have any thick tape, oh I should I say wide tape, I don't have any wide tape, just this narrow stuff, um, but I should do, provided I can find the end, oh there we go, How exciting, putting tape on something. Oh well. Probably cut bits like this out, but I can't be bothered. So you'll just have to watch it. <laughs> well, you don't have to, you can always skip past it. I think I'll actually bend those over into the middle and then put some tape over that as well. Just to be extra careful. And I might wrap a little bit 
just round the side just to hold that all in place. There we go. So that should be fairly well insulated. Not that it really needs to be, but should be pretty well insulated now. So much so that I have covered the uh, solder po points where I need to attach the LED string onto, so I just have to pull that back slightly. Apart from that, should be good. So now for the next phase. Um, we've got to glue this onto this uh, glass bulb part. So I'm going to get some uh, real hot glue for that. Proper stuff. Not the um, dodgy Chinese one that smells like rotten fish. I really don't want to know what's in that. It's probably highly toxic. <laughs> Anyway, just wait till that warms up a bit. So this, obviously, the LEDs go through this bit. Um, make sure you do that properly. Don't um, get that wrong, or you'll uh, have to take it all off again. That wouldn't be fun at all, would it? No, wouldn't be fun. Okay, so this will go in here. Well, I will solder these wires onto this first before I do that. And then that will go on top there. Should be good. Um, guess now I should figure out what the polarity of this was, seeing as I pulled it off without noticing. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Um, I uh, lost the footage of gluing the uh, thing back on, and I also lost the footage of um, putting the uh, circuit board in the base and connecting that all up. Um, basically because uh, my hard drive filled up, and unfortunately, um, if the video file isn't written out properly at the end of the file, um, the video file is completely useless. So, uh, yeah. But you didn't miss much. Um, hot gluing a thing onto a thing is not particularly exciting. I'm sure most people know how that goes. And all I really had to do was just solder the um, wires for the LEDs. Um, I hooked it up to my breadboard um, and tested with a current limiting resistor uh, to find out the polarity of the LED string because I didn't mark that when I took it off. Um, I found that easily enough. Um, I just had a 3.3 volt supply with a 470 ohm resistor that was plenty to limit the current, limit the, limit the reverse current to a safe level, um, and yeah, seems to be working fine. I uh, put these little pins back in to the base there, uh, pretty simple, just push the wires up through the hole on one from the inside and then just push the pin down so that it clamps against the plastic. Um, they're pretty tight even after having pried them out and having to put them back in again, so you know, shouldn't be an issue with bad connections or anything there. It would be nice if they were soldered, but hey, you know, they were they were pretty tight, so it should be fine. Um, if you can possibly see through the bottom of the bulb there, I don't know, but the, um, like I said, we've got the open top in there, so uh, all the heat should rise out from the circuit board, from the components there. They shouldn't um, overheat uh, too much. <laughs> anyway, so basically now I've just got to plug it in and test it out and see if it goes. I haven't actually... Um, tried this yet, so we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, I never actually tested this bulb when I bought it at all before I did this conversion to it because I didn't have a um, Edison screw socket, but we'll see um, 
with this conversion here now if it works and if it does then that's great I can use it so I'm just going to plug it in here and plug this in and there we go and that comes up perfectly fine so um, yeah that actually looks really nice I don't know how well this works so I'll uh, turn the slide off and should be able to see how it goes but uh, I don't know about light output and how much it actually um, gives off but uh, it seems quite bright but it's definitely a very interesting effect very nice effect um, very nice style of light. I've never never seen that before, but I really did like it and thought I'd um do that mod and have one of these myself. So uh yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um So there you go. Um hopefully that was useful. If anyone else wants to do this, um do this mod, you also get some spare parts from the other lamp you can play around with, I guess, um if you need to. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, if anyone found that useful, hopefully if you want to make one yourself, you can do that. Um, hopefully this helped. Um, yeah, I can definitely confirm that the glue on the base of this is heat sensitive. You can take it off with hot air or whatever. It's uh, not too too big of an issue. Um, so, you know. Um, yeah, pretty easy to do. Just... Um, hmm. So pretty nice. Uh, so we'll see how long this goes for. Um, I'll put it into use and yeah maybe I'll update this later on with uh, how long um, I don't know I mean let's be honest the driver circuitry is a bit cheap and the LEDs are <laughs> I mean you know it's uh, probably a low budget thing so who knows how long it will actually last but um, yeah hopefully it lasts well enough well there we go um, quite a cool design and uh, I'm pretty happy with that so <laughs> yeah um, yeah that's it for the day then um, cool so see you next time